Carpet, sword, wreath, puff, balloon delivery, goofy clown. Percy, clowns. what in the name of Trampy Productions are you talking about? Jenkins and Thomas is having a strong call it somnolence. Oh lord, Percy, you sound like Percy. you're having some sort of childish nightmare. Percy. Wake up, Percy! Rise and shine! Come on, Percy! Come on, oh, God. wakey, wakey! I'm awake. I'm Come awake. on, wake up, you ugly caterpillar! Come on! <laughs> It's funny, because it's a Dolby reference. James, James, what the hell are you on about? Oh, nothing, Henry. Only a splendid engine like me would understand. Right, Edward? Huh? Oh! <laughs> Anyways, what was that for, Thomas? He's new here. Why are you even talking, you fat cow? You've been treating me like rubbish since you got here. Plot relevance. Uh... Uh... What? Henry's trying to say is that Percy's been in the ship by himself for years. The only time he did have company, he was constantly being belittled by the other big engine. So we should make him feel welcome here. Oh, th thank you, Edward. Oh, please, he's just a silly little tank engine, good for nothing. But shunting my coaches for my important express. Oh, is that why you couldn't shunt your own coaches? Is it because you're not strong enough, huh, you big old galloping sausage? I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> you heard me, you big blue buffoon. <laughs> Not even I can come up with something like that. Oh, now you've done it. You listen here, you little cretin. Silence. Oh, uh, uh, sir. What's uh, the commotion here? Sir, he's belittling me again. Only after you called me a flopping bacon strip. No, -uh, he's lying, sir. Percy said galloping sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Not flopping bacon strip. You know, I honestly don't see the difference. Oh my god, shut up! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, pretty baby, don't bring me down, I pray, oh, pretty baby. And let me. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Edward, I would like you and Henry to doublehead the first train today. Percy, would you please kindly send their coaches? Yes, sir. Thomas, you know what to do. And in Clarewell, I written in the coach set at Chidmouth. Yes, sir. After my promise, I made to James. Today, it's your turn to take the express. Gordon, you ain't sent in duty to her today. You will pull the express tomorrow. Damn it! <sighs> Alright, steam team, make me proud. Hmm. <sighs> Good morning, coaches. Are you ready to show Gordon the right way to pull the express? Don't say anything, Big J. Goodbye, Gordon. We'll be back by tea time. How stereotypical of you. Uh, stupid Gordon doesn't understand splendid... Goodbye, Mrs. Gordon. Express coaches. He's very kind, yes indeed. He's even kinder than Thomas. Jolly good show. Well, if it isn't a splendid day, eh, coaches? Why, yes, James. Very splendid indeed. Should we wake him up? Nah, heard that big galloping sausage gonna be the one delivering us. Oh, oh you can't oh, 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 Quiet down. Jerry's still sleeping. I don't think he's gonna get any more sleep. And why is that? Because Gordon's here. Well, time for a man's lesson to... Oh, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Lesson one.
No dissing fish and chips. <laughs> Lesson two now going. Yeah, that. And finally, in lesson three, Gordon is fastest than bass. Okay, it's time, boys. Fuck. 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 Hey, I said no. <laughs> Got it? Good. See you learning some manners. <laughs> nice to see good old Gordon, pride of the line, something trucks in the yard. Oh, it's you with the little bus. You better not. You're so fat I can hear crumpets in your smoke box. Galloping Gordon is too lazy to be really useful. <sighs> Anyways, are these trucks for me? Well, I'm certainly not taking them, so yes, they are for you. Right. Come on, trucks. It's time. Don't be quiet. <laughs> yeah, pussy. You look like tar and the small engine. <laughs> right, guys, huh? continue with me. What? Tar 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 it's a good joke. Come on, sing it. Tar on the small no, engine. No, 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 no. Congratulations, David. If I had hands, I'd be clapping. You have officially made the most unfunny joke <laughs> ever. Screw you guys. I, I am funny. <laughs> hey. hey, I said to be quiet. Y'all are the engine. Quiet. Hmm, that's what I thought. All right, let's go. All right, time for some shit, I. Well, it's nice to see you're behaving yourselves. <sighs> oh, here's Golden Hill. Oh, no. I do you want another plan? Uh, no, what plan? I can't believe it! We just got to win the best round! Oh, no we didn't. Well, it's a very simple plan, but we got a big thing down the hill. It's exciting, we do it all the time. Oh, okay, yeah, we do that, okay. We're here. Alright, Percy, here's Gordon's Hill. Don't let the trucks beat you! Jeez, say it for the whole world to hear. Alright. Ready? In. Three. Two. One. Faster! 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 What do you think you're doing? Alright, I gotta put oh on the car. Oh. Driver! Brakes! Driver! Driver! Oh, damn it! No! Stop! I want to stop! <sighs> One truck, two truck, three, four, five truck, six truck, seven truck, eight, nine, ten truck, ten truck, twelve truck, thirteen truck, fourteen truck, time out of right now. Yeah. Remember, Gordon, it's time for your shunting, guy. Shunting? They expect me, an important and express engine such as myself, to do shunting. Well, Gordon, I remember someone telling me that you actually like the quiet work, guy. Once, driver, I said it once. Uh, hold that thought, Gordon, guy. I'm getting a call on my super sexy walkie-talkie, guy. All right, Gordon, guy. We have to go, guy. Percy's in trouble, guy. And that bothers me. How exactly? <laughs> Fine, let's go. Wait. I have an idea. Stop! Please! Please! I want to stop! I want to stop! Oh, good! A fighting! Wait. Ah! Oh, sit! Oh, sit! Oh, sit! Oh my, what's the matter, Percy? Feeling grey? It looks to me the new tank engine isn't as useful as we thought! <laughs> Finally, Percy went. Ah! I'm going out! I help! Help! It honestly was a very good show, though. The caterpillar crawling in coal. <laughs> Cut it out, Gordon. Percy's still new here. Percy? What do you want, Thomas? I just wanted to know if you were okay. What 
do you think? I got thrown off the line by some trucks. Got called a caterpillar the whole day. And not, and not only have I needed to get cleaned, but I've also made a complete fool of myself right in front of Gordon. Well, Percy, I, I just want to let you know that y you're not alone. What? About a year ago, about a year ago, I was stuck in the yards. Like you are now. I was an engine with a long tongue, and to be honest, I still somewhat am. I wanted to get out of the yard and see the world. And one night, I got my chance. But one night, Edward came to the shed. He was a kind little engine and felt sorry for Thomas. I've got some freight cars to take home tomorrow. If you take them instead of me, I'll push coaches in the yard. Thank you, said Thomas. That will be nice. Next morning, Edward and Thomas asked their drivers, and when they said yes, Thomas ran off happily to find freight cars. I bumped the trucks hard the next morning, to the point where when we got to Gordon's Hill, they pushed me all the way down. Edward warned me, but I didn't listen. Luckily for me, I hit the buffers, and no one was hurt, but for weeks, the bigger engines teased me. Until one day... <laughs> Help! Help! Oh, 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 faster! 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 What? Oh, Thomas! Use your brakes! What? Use your brakes! I'm trying! My brake blocks are on fire! They're made of wood! Oh, we're stupid! Yes! You could never just do... What the... No! No, 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 no! Oh, ah! <laughs> What do you think he meant by, we'll discuss this later? I don't know, he'll probably say something like, It's Thomas, I appreciate you for attempting to stop James, but you should not jump into places that you don't belong. Or something like that, I don't know. Wow, way to make me feel better. Yeah, sorry. Thank you for saving me though, I really do appreciate it. Well, I mean, come on. Do you really think a splendid red engine like you would be taken out this soon? <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be good now, would it? No, it wouldn't. Next, that my discussion about James and his crash, I have a special announcement. Thomas, as a brilliant work saving James's life, you shall be running the newly restored Farquhar branch line. That is, if you're up to it, of course. Y yes, sir. Thank you, be honoured. My point is, Percy, just because you messed up a few times doesn't mean you can't redeem yourself. Well, you know, Thomas, thank you for that talk. That's really all I needed to hear. Of course, Percy. Anytime. And who knows? Maybe one day, we can ship. And who knows? Maybe one day, you can share my branch line. Oh yes, that would be nice. Good night, Thomas. Good night, Percy. One more thing. <sighs> no, no, Percy. I'm too tired. Come on, just really quick. Percy, go to bed. Oh, come on, Thomas. Don't be such a busted bot. Oh my god, go to sleep! Alright, alright, fine. Thief.